Today, I'm getting ready to install my Pure Air air purification system that I found available at HVAC Parts and More. And I'm just going to film my installation here. I'm going to go over some of the tools I will be using. I've got uh, quarter inch screws, a flat bar, my hammer, I got an impact driver with a quarter inch drive on it for my screws. I got a screwdriver, tape measure, utility knife, got my sharpie, my safety glasses, a pair of 10 snips, a sheet of metal, silicone, and my foil tape. Now that I have my pier out of the box, I'm going to take all the thin sides out of it. Just pop this door off here, set it aside. And this thing's got a handle on it. Slide it on out here. Be careful with these UV bulbs. They are fragile. We'll set that aside for now. And we'll grab our filter. Set all this stuff aside. Our honey foam filter. That's everything that is inside of a pure air filter. And now I need to see how wide this thing is because I'm going to have to create a space in between my return air drop and my furnace for this thing to fit. And they are 10 inches wide. So when we remove our duct, we're going to have to move it over at least 10 inches so this will fit. Here we are at a furnace. And this is the space that we need to create for our new pure air system to fit in. Here's the pre-existing filler system. The first thing I do is I found the power in the breaker panel to uh, the furnace and I shut it off. Then we can remove our old filter. Now what I have to do is on this return air drop, I'm going to have to remove it from the trunk and remove it from the furnace here. We will remove the screws attached to the return air filter rack on front and back. Now that I have it disconnected from the furnace, I need to remove the drop from its tap collar. And to do that, there, it has drives connecting the duct here, and you flip the tabs out on them, and they just slide right out. There's one on the front and on the back here. This duct will just drop right down. Now that I have my return air drop off, I can get to all the screws holding this rack to the furnace. And we'll just remove that, remove all of them, and get our rack off here. All right, now we have our filter rack up, off. We're gonna go ahead and just clean our furnace surface up, get everything cleaned up while you have all this stuff off here. Your return air drop, get the inside of it cleaned out with a vacuum cleaner, because you're not gonna see it again for a while. Okay, now I am ready to put my pure air filter case into place. This mounts right here on the side of the furnace. Just like so, we use our quarter inch screws, and there's places all the way around this filter cabinet to fasten it to your furnace and there's a directional arrow that this thing has to point with your airflow. You got to make sure that's going the right direction. Now this new filter system is much larger than the old one so what I'm going to do so we can utilize as much of our new filter as we can is we're going to cut out this extra steel on the side of the furnace so we can use as much as the filter as we can. Here, so I'm going to mark it with my sharpie. And then we'll cut this out with the 10 snips that I have. Now once I have the cabinet fastened to the side of the furnace, I'm going to take silicone all the way around the seams between the furnace and the filter case and seal that up so no return air gets past your filter system. Now since your furnace is already in place, and you can't get underneath of this case with your silicone gun, you can either go inside of it here on top of that seam with your silicone or you can use this foil tape that seals it up really well too. Okay, now we have our box in place. We need to move our tap call over for our return air drop. And knowing that this new case is 9 inches wider than the existing 1 inch case, so we'll move this over nine inches from where it is existing. There's a few ways to do this. You can use a plumb bob, you can slide your duct in place and just have an idea where it's going to be if you're doing this here on your own. 
but we're going to move this over about nine inches today and then we will patch the existing hole up and we'll cut a new hole for a new space. These tap collars, they have a bunch of little taps all bent around inside of this ductwork. One of the easier ways of getting them off is just stick, sticking a flat bar in between your duct and your tap collar, prying down. It just pulls right out just like that. Then you want to bend all these things back straight again so you can reinstall it. Now using my 10 snips, I cut out a new space for our tap collar here. And I have all of my taps straightened out here. So we can now reinstall our collar. You just place it up into your duct like this and bend over all your taps. Now that I have the collar reinstalled, we need to patch the old hole with a sheet of metal. And I do it in this order before I slide my duct back in place. So we can reach up in here and bend these other tabs on our new pet piece of metal we're going to install. Like we did with our furnace opening, we're going to cut out as much as we need here on our return air drop so it covers the entire filter space. So we'll just measure the opening of our filter case and then apply it to our return air drop and cut out that extra metal. opening cut out larger for our filter we can now slide our return air drop back into place we're using our existing drives that we took out Now that we have our return air drop reinstalled, sealed up with silicone and tape, we can now reinstall our filter system. Some of them are packaged, so we'll get them out of the packaging. Actually, if you want to reinstall all your filters in the order that you remove them, then you make sure that all of your arrows are pointing, pointing in the flow of your uh, return air coming in your furnace. So you want these pointing at your furnace. Slide your honeycomb filter in there. And you have your 16 Merv filter and your directional arrow with that point in the same direction towards your furnace. Slide that right in there. And then you have your thermostat lights. And they come with little cardboard things holding the bulbs in place during shipping. And you gotta be sure to remove them. And try not to touch your bulbs with your fingers so your finger oils do not get on the bulbs. It'll shorten their life. And we just slide that into place. It just kind of pops right in there. Okay, now that we have our filters installed, we can put our door back on. It just snaps back into place. Just like so. And then if you do not have an outlet close, you can run an extension cord to your pure air. So you can use the cord that it comes with. And then it just plugs right into the system through all these little holes, and then you can see your UV lights light up. Now they're ready to go. Alright, there you have it. Pure air is installed, ready to power your furnace back up, and once again, you can purchase this at HVACpartsandmore.com, and you can get all your HVAC parts and needs there. Check us out.